Welcome. Hello, Mendeleev. How are you? Awesome. I just invented this thing called the periodic table. Go. Oh, really? Tell me about it. It's basically just a way of organizing the elements. What made you do this? Well, there was really no way of organizing the elements. They were all just here. So I decided to organize them according to atomic mass. Go. So every element known to man is on there? No, as the years go on, then I'm sure there will be other elements and we'll just put them on there. So I know that you said it's according to atomic mass, but is there like separate groups on there? Yes, actually, there are non-metals, metalloids, alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, transitional metals, and noble gases. But there are three major groups, the non-metals, metals, and metalloids. What are noble gases? Well, noble gases are all the way on the right on the periodic table. They are the most stable out of all the elements. Yeah. Do you think that you can name the elements for us? Well, it would take forever to name all of them, but I will. But I would also like to point out that atomic radius increases as you go down and decreases as you go across. Electromagnetic negativity and ionization decreases as you go down and increases as you go across. The opposite for ionization. Oxygen, iron, aluminum, hydrogen, helium, radon, neon, beryllium, iodine, uranium, celsium, and boron. Chlorine, fluorine, nitrogen, lithium, silicon, gold, lead, nickel, copper, tin, potassium, titanium, and arsenic. Zinc, mercury, einsteinium, cobalt, phosphorus, argon, krypton, platinum, tungsten, uranium, scandium, chromium, germanium, and gallium. Strontium, rubidium, osium, californium, nobelium, xenon, terbilium, and cerium. Yeah. Well, thanks, Wendelie, for telling us all about your cool periodic table.